My name's Russ. I'm the founder of Wide Roots. We're a wine import and wholesale company based right here in South Baltimore, which is also where I live. We represent family winemakers, mainly in Italy, although we do have some other countries we're looking at. Today we're going to be talking about and tasting four wines from a producer called Adaria on the island of Sardinia to the west of the Italian peninsula. They're a newer winery. They've only been around for about six years, but they have about 70 years of experience in the winemaking business through the father, Enrico. And the winery today is run by sister and brother Nicoletta and Salvatore. And we're going to taste the Vermentino di Sardegna made by Adaria and the Paola family. So if you like crisp, dry, white wines and you haven't tried Vermentino, then I think you're in for a treat. So Vermentino is a special grape. It's actually grown in several parts of Italy, so including Liguria, uh, where the Cinque Terre is, as well as Tuscany or Toscana and Campania. But some people think that the best vinifications for Vermentino is actually in Sardinia. And there's Vermentino grown all over Sardinia. The Pala family of Adaria makes an excellent example of a Vermentino. So if we think about climate in Sardinia, we have long sunny days, but we're in southeast Sardinia. So we're close to the sea, we have sea breezes, and we even have a Mistral wind that blows through the island. And so all of those factors actually influence the wine that's in our glass and we can we can taste those. You get some complex fruit flavors and you get some fresh, you get a little bit of baked citrus, you get some green apple, you get some uh, some stone fruit, but you also get this wildflower in, in the nose. And if you really dig into the aromas that you get, there's also some baked bread, but this would be an excellent wine to pair with something like seafood or with white poultry or with first courses or with cheeses. So um, if this is the first time that you've tried Vermentino, I hope that you like this example. And if you've tried Vermentino before, it would be interesting to contrast this Vermentino with others that are grown in other regions because they can really take on different characters depending on the climate and the soil of those regions. Uh, the Pala family makes a wonderful example of the Vermentino and I'm proud to represent them and bring this wine to you. So, cheers. This is the Naragas di Cagliari DLC from Adaria. It, the grape itself is the Naragas grape, and that grape is named after an ancient people who inhabited that part of Sardinia, the southeastern part of Sardinia, about 3,500 years ago, the Naragic people. So this civilization actually left structures behind in, in that part of Sardinia, and they resemble the beehive structures in the western part of Ireland, if you've ever been to the Dingle Peninsula or the Ring of Kerry. Well, you have these similar structures that were left behind in that part of the island. And this grape, the Naragas grape, has actually been grown and made into wines in Sardinia for 2,500 years. This white wine reflects the character of the climate, of the soil. You get some minerality of the soil, but you also get those warm sunny days. I get a little bit of tropical fruit in this on the nose, but it's also very fresh, which reflects the sea breezes and the mistral winds that blow through the island. So you get the fresh wildflowers. You also get some fresh, cit fresh citrus. You get a little bit of fresh tropical fruit, like a mango. You get some herbal notes. Uh, something like a lemongrass. You also get the minerality of the soil. This is a relatively easy drinking white wine. It's good for any day of the week. It's a good accompaniment to fresh cheese, to white poultry, or to seafood. Uh, and it can also stand up to first courses. So it's a lesser known grape and it's, it's a grape that the Pala family rightfully takes pride in their, their ability to make good wine from the grape. So we hope you enjoy the Naragas di Cagliari DLC. Cheers. What about Monica? Monica um, is the, the most authentic grape about red grapes in Sardinia. 
diffuse just in Sardinia. 100% Monica. Um, everything uh, in our, uh, we are we pick the grapes just by hand. Uh, everything uh, uh, about this kind of grape is made in um, steel tanks. Uh, because uh, uh, Monica is um, a fresh wine, no? a ruby red, uh, but there is the typical undertone about Monica grape, no? Um, is an intense wine. Uh, when you smell it, you have also like the aromas that are traditional of the grape variety. So this is important because when you smell like the grape on the vineyard, like in every time, and then you smell the wine here, is the same. So it's an authentic grape. Then is a soft wine, fresh, and uh, I think um, equilibrated wine, of course. Um, and it's nice because uh, can you um, match it with, yes, everything you want. So it's pizza, um, food, uh, um, fish food, uh, meat food, everything, because it's a dynamic wine, I think, no? Thinking about it. In the past, it was the daily wine about my grandfather. He loved this wine, and every day uh, he had this one to have lunch, uh, because, of course, it's uh, easy, no? Easy to drink and also easy uh, to um, to have uh, with different dishes, no? So that's important. This is the Cananal di Sardegna DLC from Adaria. Cananal is an interesting grape. So it's genetically the same as Grenache, which is grown in the Southern Rhone in France, but it's also called Garnacha in Spain and most notably grown in Catalonia. So when I when I experience this wine, I experience different characters or different conditions of the fruit. So the fruit can come across like baked from those long sunny days, but at the same time, I can get a fresh or ripe character in the fruit because I have those cooling sea breezes and also the mistral wind. So I had these different factors that contribute to how the wine is experienced. And that's why I would tell you that it can only be produced in Sardinia because it is completely a product of those climate factors and then also of the soil where the grapes are grown. This wine is aged 100% in stainless steel. There's no oak uh, on, on the wine whatsoever. It's simply an expression of the Cannonal grape. So it's 100% stainless steel and it's 100% Sardinia. So, salute.